In a beautiful house on the hills, Chris lives alone with his fortune. He was the inventor behind an app called Watchdog Home Security that allows you to control your entire house from your phone, but he sold his company to Google and retired early. However by the time he did this, it was too late, his relationship with his wife Jamie was already a mess and she asks for a divorce, although Chris hasn't signed the papers yet because he misses her. Nowadays their daughter Willow lives with Jamie, but she still loves and misses her dad. One rainy evening, Chris goes to the grocery store and sees a trail of water on the floor that takes him to Sky, a young woman that got caught by the storm. Chris gives her some wine recommendations before continuing with his own shopping, but later he sees her again outside. When he learns her Uber has cancelled, Chris offers a ride, and Skye accepts. Moments later, Skye is hesitant to go into her apartment because she can still hear her roommate Lisa yelling, it turns out they had a fight and Skye thought Lisa would be gone by now. Chris invites her to his house and at first Skye turns him down, but since the yelling won't stop, Skye changes her mind and she leaves with Chris while her landlord Ronald watches them from his window. At Chris's home, he shares some ice cream and shows off his wine collection to Skye while they learn about each other. Chris tells her all about his app and how he likes being alone, that's why he goes shopping late at night. Skye explains she used to be a model in LA but got tired of being a doll, so she moved here to look for something more fulfilling, sadly so far she's only found a job as a waitress at the Kitty Warren bar. When it gets late, Skye thinks she should go home, but Chris invites her to stay and they end up getting frisky all night long. The next morning, Chris wakes up alone. Skye returns to her apartment while Ronald continues to spy on her. Lisa yells at her for not calling and leaving her alone for so long, revealing this is her place and Skye's staying over because she's more than just a roommate. The rest of the day, Chris can't stop thinking about Skye. He also remembers a conversation with Willow when he promised to never leave her alone, and how his wife insists he should move on. When night falls, Chris goes to pick Skye up at the bar she works at. Skye is delighted to see him but before they keep befriending each other, she needs to admit she lied the night before. She came here because she was escaping an abusive family, and she feels she's damaged goods because she never had a real family and since she was six she was passed around foster homes. Chris doesn't mind and confesses that while he did grow up with his parents, they cared more about their business than him, so he understands the feeling. Moments later, the pair makes it to Chris's car only to find Kiju the thief trying to steal it. Chris calls him out only to step back when Kiju gets aggressive, but Sky makes it worse by throwing her beer bottle at the thief. Furious, Kiju responds by hitting Chris's leg until he breaks it. After a night spent in the hospital, Sky helps Chris get home because he's in a wheelchair until they remove the leg cast. Sky feels guilty and wants to help more, so Chris decides to hire her as his new nurse and tells her to go get all her things from her apartment. In order for her to re-enter the house when she comes back, he also gives her the system codes. When Sky arrives at her apartment, she finds Ronald telling Lisa she was happier before Sky came into her life. Sky makes Ronald go away by calling out all the spying he does on them. Then Lisa takes the chance to yell at Sky again, begging her not to leave her. Sky promises she won't and the two of them get frisky to reconcile. Moments later, Sky is back at Chris's house and spends the day taking care of him, and Chris is so distracted by Sky's presence that he doesn't notice when Jamie calls. When it's time to go to bed, Chris tells Sky he loves her, but Sky blames it on the medicine. The next morning, while Chris sleeps, Sky grabs his phone and takes it away after unlocking it using his face. Meanwhile, Ronald comes to Lisa's apartment to ask for the rent. When nobody answers, he uses the master key to get inside and is shocked to find Lisa dead in the tub. Soon the police are there and explain it seems Lisa ended things for herself, so Ronald tells them it probably was because Sky left her. However the cops are suspicious because they can't find any record of a woman named Skylar Webb in their databases, making Ronald realize he's never seen an ID from her. Then a bunch of journalists arrives to cover the case and Ronald tries to use the chance to promote his properties, but he's ignored. Some hours later, Chris gets a call from Jamie, who is surprised to see Chris be rather cold instead of a simp. Chris tells her about his leg and asks her to bring Willow on Friday, promising the divorce papers will be signed by then. Afterward, Chris takes advantage of Sky taking a shower to look inside her purse and discovers some photographs of Sky and Lisa together. Sky catches him red-handed but doesn't mind, understanding the need to know someone better. In the evening, the two of them get frisky again, but after Chris falls asleep Sky goes to spend the night in Willow's room. The next morning, Chris wakes up to find Sky gone. He can't find his phone and the tablet that doesn't work, but at least the house's main screen does, and Chris learns from the news that Lisa is dead. At that moment, Sky comes home and Chris tells her about Lisa, but Sky doesn't care, in fact she casually admits she was the one that killed her. Chris thinks she's joking, but Sky quickly explains everything. She never loved Lisa, she was just using her because of her apartment. It was the perfect location for Sky to spy on Chris and learn all his habits. For two months she prepared the perfect setup until their meeting at the market, which hadn't been a coincidence. Chris tries to kick her out, but Sky ignores him, and when Chris tries to leave instead, Sky locks the doors because she's had his phone all along. When Chris tries to take the phone back, Sky knocks him out with a taser. Meanwhile back in Lisa's home, 
Ronald makes his way inside to clean up the place for new tenants and finds Sky's telescope aimed at Chris's house. Ronald realizes he can use it to spy on the neighbors and decides to keep it there for personal use, this allows him to discover Sky is hiding from the police at Chris's place. Moments later, Chris wakes up to find himself tied to the wheelchair. Sky comes to ask him for all his passwords and security codes, but Chris refuses to talk, so Sky hurts him with a drill until she gets what she wants. Then Sky uses the afternoon to transfer all of Chris's money into her own accounts. Afterward, she goes back to Chris to ask him to do some calls to his bankers and brokers to liquidate his stock in order for her to fund her own company. While Ronald still spies on them from afar, Sky uses a pair of scissors to free Chris's hands to make him look presentable for the video call, and Chris immediately takes advantage to push Sky to the floor and try to attack her. Unfortunately Sky grabs her scissors again and hurts Chris on the shoulder before leaving his grasp. Then she makes Chris cooperate by threatening to hurt Jamie and Willow. Chris accepts to play along and Sky begins taking pictures of his super expensive art and wine collection to sell. Some hours later, Kiju shows up because he's been working with Sky all along. They leave together to make some business in town, and sometime later, Ronald breaks into the house by breaking a window, which sends an alert to Sky on the phone. Ronald only accepts to help Chris after he agrees to gift him his Picasso painting, which is worth $7 million. Sadly Ronald doesn't have a cell phone because he thinks they cause brain cancer, but he does start freeing Chris from his bindings. At that moment, Sky comes back and uses Chris's phone to lock all the doors to keep Ronald from escaping. Ronald tries to hide in another room, so Sky leaves Chris in front of the security cameras to make him watch how she follows Ronald around the house with a sword from the art collection. Eventually Sky corners Ronald in the garage and kills him, ruining the Picasso in the process. Chris uses the chance to free himself completely and run outside, the car is locked but he can still use the snow bike. Going down the hill is hard with a leg in a cast, when Chris reaches the bottom, he crashes and falls on the road. An incoming car stops just in time before hitting him, and the driver Sebastian doesn't hesitate to help Chris by bringing him into his car and calling 911. When the operator picks up, Sebastian gives the phone to Chris, who begins describing everything that happened only to freeze when he realizes Sebastian is taking him back to his house. It turns out the person on the phone is Sky, not 911, and Sebastian has been working with Sky all along. Sebastian hits Chris and puts him back in the wheelchair before kissing Sky and explaining he's Sky's stepfather. Sebastian had married Sky's mother, but the woman passed away in a few months, so Sebastian took the chance to start a relationship with Sky and teach her how to be a great scammer. She's particularly good at making old rich guys fall in love with her to rob them, and Sebastian thinks it's only fair because the rich have everything and don't share it with the lower class. In the evening, Chris has to hear how Sky and Sebastian get frisky in his own bedroom. Afterward Sky comes to check on Chris, expressing she'll miss the house when she's gone, prompting Chris to point out she could have had this life by just being his girlfriend instead of stealing it. Sky doesn't want to admit such dreams can come true and explains they still want to get to Chris's safe deposit box in the main branch of American Bank, which has $14 million in bearer bonds. To access it they need Chris's fingerprint, so Sebastian comes and gets Chris's thumb with a knife. The next morning, Jamie arrives with Willow at the house and immediately gets suspicious. Sky pretends to be the nurse and tells them Chris is sleeping thus they should come back later, causing Jamie to threaten with calling the police. Since Jamie won't cooperate, Sebastian comes to the room too and drags Willow and Jamie into the same walk-in closet where they left Chris last night. While Chris reunites with his family, Sky puts Jamie's phone in the microwave so it can't be tracked, and Sebastian creates a fake cast around his hand to pass Chris's thumb as his own. On the road, Sebastian notices Sky's behaving oddly, as if she was unsure about this, but she swears she's fine. At the bank, Sebastian pretends to be Chris and uses the thumb on the deposit box, although it takes him a few tries to make it work. However when they finally open the box, they only find a note inside. At the house, Chris notices there's a vent and wants to make Willow escape through it, Jamie at first refuses because it's too dangerous but changes her find when she realizes it's their only chance to survive. Chris makes sure Willow remembers that the lock code is her birthday, then he puts her on the vent to send her out of the building. Afterward Chris tells Jamie everything that happened, and Jamie explains the criminals won't find the bonds because she took them. Her lawyer had advised her to do that to have leverage in case Jamie refused to pay the corresponding amount during the divorce. Chris realizes the criminals will be back soon to ask about the bonds and tries to tell Willow to come back, but it's too late, she's already out of the building and re-entering the house through the main door. Sky and Sebastian see her on the phone's security cameras and rush back into the house to end things once and for all. Sebastian gives his gun to Sky and confirms the closet is empty, and when he walks down the hallway, Chris jumps on him to attack him while Willow and Jamie hide in another room. Since Chris is still weak and wounded, it's very easy for Sebastian to overpower him giving Sky time to join them and point her gun at Chris, demanding to know where Jamie is. Sebastian keeps yelling at Sky asking her to shoot Chris, making Sky snap after years of abuse and causing her to shoot Sebastian instead. Chris takes advantage of the distraction to stab Sky and take his phone back before running away. 
Using the app that controls the house, he plays music rather loudly to cover any noises that can give him away and turns off the lights, but he can still see Sky thanks to the thermal cameras. As Sky wanders around looking for him, Chris messes with her mind by activating all kinds of things around the house, like opening the windows and starting the fireplace. When Sky finally walks by his door, Chris jumps on her and makes her drop the gun before fighting her on the floor. Sky overpowers him easily because of his wounds, prompting Jamie to come out to fight her too. Sky stabs Jamie in the leg and Chris responds by attacking her with the sword, but when Sky is about to kill them both, she suddenly drops to the floor, it turns out Willow has come out too and made good use of the gun. Police sirens can be heard outside, so Jamie takes Willow with her to meet them. As Chris drags his body through the floor to join them, Sky calls his name and admits her real name is Margaret before dying. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.